Hi, my name is Charles Crawford, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to rank a YouTube video number one. So, let me give you an example of something I did. So, if you type in best classical piano player, that should be somewhat competitive, right? Well, maybe but I'm number one so let's take a look at some of this stuff I'm doing because honestly I'm probably not the best classical piano player in the world but I know more about SEO than any of the other piano players so what you want to do is Actually, this isn't even one of my best examples, but it just goes to show that if you do most of the elements, you should be okay. So, the title, Best Classical Piano Player, it's pretty obvious. You put your keyword or your phrase first, and then, as you noticed, I repeat three of the words, but then just change solo, and then I repeat three of them again, but change to composition. Um, sometimes that might be a little bit too much. You definitely don't want any more than 12 words in your title. Um, and this is kind of cutting it close, but I mean, it worked for this example. So, and I haven't had any videos get banned for having too many keywords in the title. So, and also if you add text, they pick up these keywords which is another trick. So best classical piano song, they pick that up. They pick up Charles Crawford, original composition. Um, and you can add captions too. I didn't do that in this video, but that also helps pick up keywords. Now, normally what you want to do is add the first, the very first words in your description should be your keyword. So the very first words should be best classical piano player. And then I should have done like a little tab and then say Charles Crawford's the best piano player. But as long as you have it in the first sentence, you should be okay. And also, um, obviously I have it here, best classical piano player, best cl piano composition. And then the other key is to have your website. Normally you want it in the first line. That would be best, but I mean, it's okay to have it in the second. And then another big trick that most people don't know is to put your title in the video in your description because then you can get backlinks from either bookmarking your video on other sites like Delicious or just when other people embed your video on their website, you get a backlink because your link to the video is in your description so that's a kind of a big deal that most people don't think about or they don't know and then another trick to ranking videos is get a lot of likes so like have uh, have some of your friends hit the like button that helps and share share it to Facebook Twitter Google Plus all that stuff and there's more like stumble upon is a really good one and you can do these too if you want, but you don't have to. And then obviously you get the right category. <laughs> it's funny because a lot of people actually, sometimes they mess that up and that pretty much screws their ranking. Like if you're doing a how-to video and you put it under entertainment, you're uh, not going to rank too high. And then tags. Now these are some of the most important. So obviously you want the best, your best keyword in the first three. So put your best keywords right up front. So best classical piano player, right there. And then to get phrases, just put them in parentheses. So if, for example, best classical piano solo, when I wrote that tag, I had it in parentheses because otherwise you can't have any repeated tags. So if I didn't have this in parentheses and I had best classical piano, this tag would have only shown up as solo because three of these words were repeats. So that's another trick. 
And then obviously you want a lot. I mean, I could have added a few more, but you definitely want at least like 20 tags. But I would, you know, have a little more. Then another trick, comment on your own video and put keywords in your comment. And then have some friends comment because comments and like show user activity and YouTube likes that. Likes that. Now, another thing that's awesome is that Google owns YouTube. So if you, and many Google uh, indexes are YouTube videos. So let's see what happens. Aha, look at this. Best classical piano player. What do you know? I rank on Google and I rank on YouTube. And if you like classical music, I would also recommend watching this video because it is pretty cool. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Charles Crawford here, and thank you for watching this video. You probably know more about YouTube SEO than most people who upload YouTube videos. So, congratulations. Thank you.